out of you a, you know you a simp like you simp enough you biatch, like you know like what you soft enough for right that's the world that we grew in grew up mm -hmm. in so it's difficult to tell me that or another man who like bro black men are attention whores right and we're like well shit if i don't do it nobody recognizes me i mean look at the nerd the nerd don't get the hottest girl in school you know what I mean? The nerd don't get the. He's not the. Your mic is muted. Your mic is muted. But it's the most solidified. Right. And so those are the things that I see. Like when we are choosing, I think men become this because of women. Like because now that could be. I could be totally wrong about that. But I think a lot of men or young men do a lot of these things because of females. Like, yes, we want the validation from other men and, you know, whatnot. But a lot of it's females. Like, think about it. If I can get, yes, yes, you can tell me that ain't cool when blase blase, right? But I can go and put on some jewelry, drive around in a nice ass whip, and I could get 10, 20 females that will validate exactly what I'm going through. But <laughs> the I'll best all the females is for the dudes, too. Well, to honest, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's what that, I'm saying. That goes I, back to, I don't think it's for the dudes. To, I'm just no, saying, that like, goes back to to men. Um, I need affection, and I prefer from the female persuasion. I'll take some attention from a guy, but I need the affections of a woman. Facts. That's what I'm saying. But, that's but what guess I'm what? Saying. But what real man is going to tell a female, "Yeah, I need you to scoot a little closer." And I'm and not just a smash. Like, I don't know if y'all have slept with women before. Like when I'm laying what next to a woman, my woman, or whatever the case may be, I gotta touch, even if it's a pinky toe. <laughs> no, well, hey, yeah, hey. that's uh, what I, that's where I defer from because I'm not I you know, my, my attention comes from different. I, I don't really need affection like that, but I do need attention. Affection yeah. is not on my not not on my top priority. I don't yeah. need you to hug and kiss me to let you know, yeah. let me know that you love me. You know what I mean? Just the, the mere fact of the words is 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 okay enough for me. Yeah. And and the actual the the I guess the work behind it, the the sincerity, excuse me, if you will, the sincerity behind it is 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 enough for me, not just saying it. Just to to, yeah. to appease me or to make me but feel I believe, okay. But I, be, I, I believe a lot of people feel as though the physical is an expression of the verbal. It kind of seals right. the deal. Yeah, they're showing they're showing what they're saying. Yeah, absolutely. So, a, a, a fact, in, in I guess my little educated guess is affection is the end result of attention, affirmation, and acceptance. Right. Okay. But most of us have never had it, so we've conditioned ourselves. We don't need it, right? Well, okay. So you're talking to I don't like need me, it. right? I don't know. I don't know what the fuck affection even feels like, right? So you're talking to a person that may not even know what that even know like. You know, what I mean? like cool, cool. I get it. The satisfaction of validity, you like, like of, of validity, yeah. right? You know what I mean? I get it. The satisfaction of it, right? But I'm I. I I, I don't get, I, I don't see the affection part, right? I, I don't, that's just because the, the way I grew up, foster care. Because that's a B you know, move. You ain't, you soft. What you mean you want to hug? <laughs> what you mean you want to kiss? You better just take them draws. That's no! What we were, that's what we were taught. What you no. mean? We, we talking, right? No. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. No. Listen, hey, listen, hey, we, we talking, that's we talking. extreme version. Real, yeah. Listen, real. Real, real hood men, real men don't do foreplay. I'm just getting straight to what I need. But, 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 but that's an extreme version, right? You know what I mean? I do like a little foreplay. Don't get me wrong. But what I'm, what I'm mentioning is when we're looking at affection from a man, that's kind of tend to be like a more of a femininity type of ordeal, which yeah. you explained it correct. You explained it correct. And yeah. you explained it very right in a masculine form of how men look at affection or how men would yeah. want affection. Right. But that still looks to me as praise. Right. Like mm -hmm. as like a woman don't even have to touch me or I could have a, a hundred thousand women in the crowd and they don't even have to touch me or anything. And I still feel the satisfaction of that affection of that love mm -hmm. of what they're trying to give off that attention, the energy, the eye, the, contact, all of those things. 
right? The attentiveness. Right. So I think for a lot of dudes, that's even enough for them. Yeah. They're like, oh, if especially I just get a little bit. Yeah, you. they're like, oh, if I get a little bit, oh, I'm going to do a lot of that. So they never have a chance to go through true humility. What do you mean, especially these days? Can you expound on that? Oh, wow. Oh, because we have been, it, it's, it's so common now for a guy to run through the ranks of women. You know what yeah. I mean? And, 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 and now, especially if you have money, if you have cars and clothes. Now, now women are put, and, and because of, especially black women, because women vocalize themselves as they don't need a black man. Men are now like, yo, like, I really don't need a woman. I, I, I can get all these other women and live my life just fine. So if it's, it's become a common practice, I would like to say, you know, since the since the seventies, well, you know, it's hard to really pinpoint it, but from my, I know just back from in, in my in my uh, my experience in growing up, just a lot of men in my family just really just run through the ranks of women. You know, I have a brother that just doesn't care, like he just runs through the ranks of women, and I and I know men that have money and. They they use women as as just a tool, and it's just it's just what it what it is for them. So that's that's what I mean by that. It, it, well, it, it I, I can say I thank common, God. Common for them. I believe I thank God for my father trying to not treat me like the average man. Like he like scolded me when he found out I was sexually active in high school. Like I got a whooping. Really? <laughs> in high school, I got a whooping when he found out I was doing something I had no business doing. And then he explained it to me and started articulating these things. And it allowed me to be a That's better person. You got to ask it allowed me to, Yeah. <laughs> because he, I, wow. he, cause he didn't want to take care of no babies. I didn't have no job. <laughs> he was barely taking care of me. <laughs> he barely taking care of me. Emotional but he, but he damage. <laughs> but, no, you're, you're right. <laughs> but you got to understand, he was one of maybe 12 kids, and it was multiple fathers, you know, all that stuff. So he was like, I'm going to show my son something I didn't have, and I'm going to teach him a way that I never experienced. I get it. I get it. And it's allowed me, but it's really protected me from me because when I started playing arena football, I was in these cities where these chicks was just like, throwing themselves and it was like uh, i'm good well, did they smell like liquor or something <laughs> it depends on what region of the country we're talking about <laughs> we talk if, no. if, it, if it's midwest they smell like beer yeah that's <laughs> true that's and, true. And, and you see and, and it's a little bit different for me because you know i grew up in a house for all women you know what i mean uh -huh. which conditioned my mind to have a certain level of respect and also have a certain level of uh, a pushback on them. You know what I mean? Cause I watched women from, you know, from a baby age all the way to, you know, my mom, grandmother age growing up. And I seen the different levels of, of women. And I, and thank God I had my sisters to actually, well, my sister Missy to actually like sit me down one day was like, look, Hey, you know, especially when I went into the military, like, look, this is what this is what certain females is gonna look for out of this and blah 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 and actually give me the real on on how how females kind of think not all females but the typical you know run of the mill females that's gonna look for you know dude with money some stability blah 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 so in my mind it it always put me in a I had that same kind of like yo know, like uh you know what I mean that pushback like I don't like I would I would play the part like yo. For real, I'm I'm all about that life, you know. What I mean, I'll I'll I'll, I'll uh, smash the shit out of you, type of type of you know mentality, uh, player mentality. But when it came down to it, you know, I I really wouldn't you know follow through with it. And you can and if you, yeah. if anybody's watching, <laughs> if females is watching, they'd be like, yeah, he was a player, and but I never I never did follow follow through with you know I me mean, actually. You know what a lot of men would say i smashed a lot of females you know what i mean i, yeah. I wouldn't actually you know follow through that part even though i have my track record <clears throat> my history of doing my but i guess my question would be let's just say for argument's sake you did okay 
what's the point? What's the point of what? I mean, what's the point of celebrating conquering multiple women or a lot of women? What, what's the benefit at the end of the day? What's the I, point? It, I would agree with you. There is there is no point other than boasting. Because I think about there it. There is like no you other said, point than boasting. You had sisters. You had a mama. I got mom. I got daughter. I got right. aunties. I got... And I and my job, I coach high school football, and they, you know, they use the B word and the H word concerning women, like it's just, oh, them is my bees and them is my. Yeah. Don't you got a mama? How would right. you feel if Coach Finney pressed your mama and was like, "Damn, that B got cake." <laughs> I'ma go and take that down. Man, Coach yeah. Finney, stop playing. Yeah. Why are you acting like? Well, that's how you right. acting towards it. And when you. Right present it in that manner you had it because you lived with it but when you right. present it in that manner man i don't like what you're saying but you're right <laughs> right right no i get you i get you so yeah. and, and it's because it's all about uh, it, it see when we're younger we don't think a lot of men don't like to think of that way you know what i mean like and and a lot of young men don't they they're not trying to hear they hear it like even the ones like i used to listen to the older men and the wiser men and, and, and take the advice as it as as I, I grew up and, and, it, and it molded me to be the, the young man I am today. Um, but what I did notice is the ones that are around me and even the ones young today, they'll hear you or they'll, they're, they're listening, but they don't apply it. They don't really want to apply it because it's not. Well, you got to understand that's cool. why. But that's why teaching is so important. Absolutely. We can't have these. Um, and mind you, I function in the, the what they call a religious world, a church where, world. I can't preach one sermon and expect results. One standalone sermon. Yeah. I got to build, 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 because the majority of truths, the first time somebody hear the truth, it's a slap in the mouth. Yeah. If they've been living for 16 years and they daddies and they uncles been just taking down chicks, you don't even know who coming home tonight. Who You tell them, hey, you shouldn't be smashing all these chicks because guess what when you turn 25 ain't none of them gonna be around right and you're gonna be wanting your wife to act like that hoe at the strip club and she ain't because if you picked right she ain't gonna be a hoe so right. she ain't gonna be as experienced as the jump off was at school right <laughs> so you need to not condition yourself to you know like I get you. I get you. Yeah. I, I so, totally get you. And you know what? You know what it was for me? Um, there, it was one time at one point in my life where I, where it made me really sit back and just like really look. It was a, I think I think it was a billboard and or some or Facebook post or something of that nature where they were like, it was it was it was a guy in the middle of all these women, and it was like hands everywhere, and it was like body parts everywhere, and they were like, This is an amount of chicks that you slept with. And then, mm -hmm. and then it showed like other men, and it was all touching them, and it was like, and that is who you're connected to, and it, and it yeah. did something for me. It said it, it was like it was it was such a thing like yo, we don't understand that, you know, sharing ourselves that much yeah. is is still leaving the essence. The transfer of, the of energy, that the, the transfer right. of energies like and, the, that, that spiritual. And, and then we don't think don't want to be that. deep, but it is a spiritual act. It, it is. is a spiritual act and you're connecting with somebody right. that you may not even want to talk to two days. So why would I, and it's not about me not wanting to hit or wanting to smash. It's about right. me valuing me enough to know that a week from now, two weeks from now, two years from now, I don't right. want something rising up in me that I can't even identify where it came from. Exactly. Exactly. But no one wants to hear that truth. You know, they, 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 but they don't once down. you speak it, but yeah. once you speak it, it's a slap in the face. It has to be more communication and more conversation so that by that third, fourth, and fifth time, they say in sales, a sale is not made until the sixth or seventh, the sixth or seventh contact. Right. Everybody ain't able to one call close. So Everybody stop ain't got that kind of skill. <laughs> Up there. What, you, what you say, Biz? I told him stop punking out. You know what I mean? <laughs> you got to be <laughs> persistent. I'm, 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 I'm no, you can't be no, you can't be persistent nowadays because the world calls persistent thirst, and you can't be a thirsty player. See, but that, but you know what? I, hey, I, I hey, hey, wait, 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 w
there's a fine line between well, between well, consistent and being thirsty. Because well, well, thirsty, well, well, persistent, well. you can do it, and you can do it in a manner to where you're just making your presence known every every time, or your your or, or you're thought of every time. You know what? Uh, your your presentation come out instead of having your tongue hang out every time something come around or or jump or, or but, feeling right, eager. Right, but, but, about well, okay, wait, yeah, wait, 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 wait. I'm I got you, fan. I got you on this one because this is okay. this is something I got to debate with him on. Check this out. I I have a person that calls me damn near almost every freaking day, right? She knows I'm not going to get business credit with her. She knows that. But she's persistent, which is turning around to look like thirst. Right? Now, she's not on the other side, but she calls with the whole, like, hello, Mr. McKenzie. I would like to do the blah, 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 and blah, 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 blah. No, I'm not. You called me, like, <clears throat> days ago, and you've been calling me for the past three months. It's like. Well, well I, get, I guess my, my thoughts is. <laughs> I, think, know, my, I, I think that is a little thirsty. Our perception is based off of our experiences. And my experiences was because I wasn't, because of the way I was raised and trained, I wasn't like a thirst bucket at the club. Right. I wasn't chasing the baddest chick. Right. I was that. I was that, the one who was watching, kind of being my best homie bodyguard, just peeping the scene. And because I wasn't chasing the baddest one, the baddest one ended up approaching me. Yep, that's how I go. You ain't. Why you ain't pressing me like everybody else? Yeah, man, I'm here, man. My, my homie drunk. I'm just trying to make sure he don't swing. Yeah, yeah. And then going about my business, and they're like. But and, it don't and, buy, like, and you know what I found out? You know what's so funny? Typically, I don't know if it's for you, but I mean, for the most from what I see, typically the baddest one that everybody's after ain't the brightest one in the room, it, or or ain't the one no that you're really seeking that. after. No, I'm not going to say that they're not the brightest. They haven't had to be the brightest. And, or, it it's not all what is what it what is what is uh, caked up to be, or what it's. What well, what everybody saw? Soon, I guess my soon, my problem with beauty after. is we've let so, so, we've let the media dictate what's beautiful. Like for me right. personally, I don't like powdered donuts. I don't either. And I'm not talking about and I'm not talking about Caucasian people. I'm talking right. about no, women who put more foundation on. Like you can't even see their skin. Powdered donuts. So much. <laughs> <laughs> I call them powdered donuts. I don't. I want to be listen. I want to listen. I value my clothes because I want the attention, right? So I got on right. good clothes. I want to be able to embrace you and not have your face still on my shirt. Weird on my shirt. Yep. I, no, I, I, don't, I don't I don't want to caress your forehead and have your eyebrow on my thumb. Right. But we can't say that though. But I can say this. I don't like I didn't like makeup. I can appreciate. Some makeup. Right, we're gonna talk about like these eyelashes on. that look like bro. Uh, I don't like cake right, cake. right, right. So, a, a funny statement before we before I ask the the couple of questions before we head out. Uh, a funny statement is about eyebrows, right? The whole eyelash thing. You know, back then I did a whole podcast on it, right? That back then they were literally known for uh, prostitutes will wear them. You know what I mean? Literally, they would wear eyelashes in the, in <clears throat> Europe, and the reason why they would wear those eyelashes because when they would, when the guy would ejaculate, you know what I mean, it would go to their eyes, so they wear these long eyelashes. They call them cumbrellas. <laughs> you got some of them cumbrellas, girl, <laughs> <laughs> and everybody wearing them like it's just a fashion. It's thing. a fashion. They don't they even know, know where it comes from. Cumbrellas. <laughs> But that it's goes okay, back to no, but that but that goes back to them doing what they think men want. Because if they even ask a man, a man to tell you, I don't want that mess on you. No, we don't. Not powder donuts. <laughs> like 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 if if women talk to him, if women talk to a man for real, what 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 is beauty to you? It ain't putting five bundles in your head. No, no, it ain't.